this city has a bike parking problem. There are just too many bikes and not enough space. But look, there is a large car garage. Why not use one floor of this garage to house 2300 bikes, a bike washing facility, a bike service and rental shop and all of this with a direct connection to the train station? This is exactly what Osnabrück, a medium sized city in northern Germany did. On top, the city also built fully autonomous vertical bike parking. We are at this unique double-deckered train station of Osnabrück. There are two train lanes that cross here from north to south into the Ruhr area and from east to west into the Netherlands. Thus there are many commuters to and from Osnabrück to neighboring cities like Münster or Bielefeld. And many try to park their bike here at the main train station. About 23% of all journeys in the city are made via bike. With around 15% of the population, university students have an undeniably large impact and the university is in great reachability. In response to this demand and bike parking getting quite messy, Osnabrück successfully converted the bottom floor of this garage, which used to house 200 car parking spaces, into 400 square meter of two-story bike parking with over 2300 bike spaces a year ago. This is currently after Münster the second largest bike garage in Germany. From the station you just walk through the store and you can reach your bike, a bike service station, rental bike, e-bike charging, places for cargo bikes and even a bike washing machine. Then you can just cycle up this beautiful ramp and are good to go. But not only that, in December of last year the city also opened this vertical storage facility at the Old Town train station. Due to limited space, the city decided to build this 16 meter tall tower with 8 lifts carrying 20 bikes each in these metal boxes. They rotate so any of the 20 bikes can be accessed in a space that would normally house 3 bikes. At the same time the bike and possible belongings stay safe and dry. To me this almost seems over engineered. What happens when the lift clocks and I also don't really want to rely on an app to access my bike. The entire building had cost 2 million euros to build, sponsored entirely by the innovation fund of the Federal Ministry of Transport. The big bike station in the parking garage also had cost 5 million euros, it has to employ several people and thus also closes between 11pm and 5am. And the parking is not free, but moderately priced compared to cars and the gain safety with 90 cents per day. 9 euros per month or 90 euros per year. But I'm not entirely sure if this money should have gone into infrastructure first. This bike lane near the main train station on a 5 lane street looks borderline scary. And according to people online, this is also not a loner. This doesn't quite live up to the name Cycling City. In this aspect though, Osnabrück also moves into the right direction. New better bike lanes are constructed and construction works of a bike boulevard to the train station shall start this year. Until 2030 Osnabrück wants to significantly upgrade their bike network and introduce cycling highways making more rooms for bicycles. Let's see if that works.